If you're purchasing new appliances, you're probably reading online reviews, asking your friends for their advice and learning all the manufacturer specs. But you've probably seen a lot of buyer's remorse and comments from people wishing they had bought something different. Wouldn't it be great to learn all the nightmares to avoid up front so they don't happen to you? In this new series, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll show you the common and uncommon pitfalls and mistakes in every category, from starting a project to delivering without the several different types of damage that can happen to your home. This time we're talking about the mistakes people make when choosing between electric, gas, dual fuel and induction cooking products. Here they are. Not knowing the difference between front control and sliding ranges of any type, not understanding the pros and cons of electric, gas and induction cooking surfaces, and not knowing the difference between gas and electric ovens. Once again, there's no best type of range for everyone. You wanna buy the best range the way you cook, not the heavily marketed stoves that are in magazines. First, it's important to understand the difference between freestanding, front control, and sliding ranges, so you don't buy the wrong stove for your kitchen. Freestanding is the least expensive type of range with controls in the back. Front controls and slide-ins have the controls in the front of them, but the difference is that a front control is made to replace a freestanding range and a slide-in isn't. And here's where people make mistakes. A slide-in is made to sit over your countertop. It's not made as a replacement and will not fit in your kitchen if you buy it to replace your old freestanding range without modification. However, it's a better option for new construction because it eliminates the seams on both sides and the back, making it easier to clean because there's no space for food to seep down the sides of your stove. Next, make sure you know the difference between electric, gas, and induction before you make a purchase. Let's start with electric. It takes longer to heat because the coils heat the glass and the glass heats the pot. Simmering on an electric range is difficult because it takes a while for the glass to cool down after you turn down the burner. Induction, however, has the fastest heat with an instant simmer. Even though electric and induction stoves look similar, they're totally different because induction is magnetic heat. The magnets excite the metal in the pan and the pan cooks the food by passing the glass. It's also the easiest to clean and vent and our kids can't turn it on accidentally because the magnets need steel to produce heat. However, if you live in a condo, converting from gas or even a regular electric range may be a problem because an induction range requires 50 amps not 12 amps like a gas stove. You also won't get a grill, griddle, or French top option, and no, you can't cook your tortillas over an open flame unless those tortillas are made of metal. Lastly, if you have frequent power outages, you won't be able to turn on your burner by lighting a match. So gas must be better. Well, gas has increased in output from the 12,000 BTU burner back from when I started to 30,000 on a Heston Pro range. Even just regular ranges have two burners now over 15,000 BTU in the front. But even that 30,000 BTU burner is not as fast as an induction burner. With gas, you can get all the options on a Pro Range grill, griddle, French top, and sous vide. But there's one problem with gas stove that you should know. Gas range will emit CO2, nitrous oxide, formaldehyde, and other harmful gases into your home if it is not properly ventilated to a much higher degree than induction or electric types. So venting becomes a priority with a gas range more than the other types. So buying gas range is a mistake if you can't vent. Well, buying induction will be a problem if you don't have the right amount of power, live in the right areas with frequent power outages or like to grill or griddle. Final last mistake people make when deciding on cooking products happens when they don't know the pros and cons of dual fuel and all gas ranges. Somewhere a salesman's touting a dual fuel range as the best of both worlds. And it is an interesting combination with a gas top and electric oven. Benefits of an electric oven are that its temperatures are more precise and have a drier heat, which is better for baking. However, gas is a moisture heat and better if you like to broil or roast. Broiling, especially with infrared gas boilers, is far better on a gas range. So it would be a mistake to buy an electric range if your favorite dish is pot roast. Similarly, baking cookies will be harder in a gas oven. A constant theme is really asking yourself, how do you use your stove? Slide-ins are better for new construction because they overlap the countertop, yet front controls are a better replacement for an old freestanding range. Induction's better, unless you don't have the power, have frequent power outages, or like to grill or griddle. Gas ovens are better for roasting and broiling, while electric is better for baking. Lastly, know that an electric range is not that bad. Just don't overheat and expect an instant response. If you avoid these common mistakes, you're gonna be happy with whatever you purchase. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. And thanks for watching.